first five years of the new millennium are behind us. For the vast country that is Russia, stretching across the sixth of the globe, it has been a period of political stability and economic rebirth. Russia, for the first time in many years, demonstrated a higher rate of economic growth than any of the other members of the Group of Eight. Until only recently, however, at the beginning of the 1990s, post-Soviet Russia was a sorry sight. Today, things in Russia have changed significantly, even with the traditional favorite, vodka. Its market share has fallen from 35% to 18 in total consumption of alcohol products. Russians are demonstrating an increasing preference for beer. Its share has grown from 52% to 70%. The transformation of the Russian consumer market and the beer market in particular can't fail to impress. It is the scale that is most striking. Russia has already moved up from 8th position, which it occupied in 1998 in the rankings of largest beer consumers, reaching 5th position. A unique characteristic of the Russian market is not only its size, but also its very fragmented nature, leading to stiff competition. On the shelves at stores, you can find over 150 different brands, and the licensing segment, for example, comprises 36 international brands. This variety can be found nowhere else in the world. Nevertheless, over 20 new international and Russian brands appeared on the market. Another unique feature of our market is the structure of beer consumption. Although new European-style cafes, bars and pubs appear every year here, Russian consumers continue to prefer to buy their beer at the street kiosks that are so numerous across the country. The undisputed leader in the country's beer sector is the Baltica Brewing Company, a firm that continues to set the pace and trends in the market. In its 16-year history, it has entered the top 10 of international beer producers. Baltica occupies 2% of the total global market for brewing. The Baltica brand, according to Interbrand, is the most valuable consumer brand in Russia and the second beer brand in Europe. Baltica owns 10 brewery plants in 9 regions of Russia, with a total capacity of over 40 million hectolitres. That quantity is sufficient to allow every inhabitant of our planet to drink at least one 33 millilitre bottle of Baltica a year. In order to take in the scale of the geography covered by the company, it's worth remembering that the distance from Baltica's head office in St. Petersburg to the brewery furthest away in Khabarovsk is greater than the distance between London and Delhi. You can buy Baltica in almost every corner of Russia. Its level of distribution in the country has reached almost 98%. Baltica's leadership in the Russian market is confirmed by the fact that it has the largest market share among producers at 36%. The Baltica portfolio of brands is also the most impressive in the country, comprising 30 brands. According to the results of the first half of 2006, Baltica, for the first time, became leader in all price segments of the Russian beer market. From this year, Baltica has become the leader in the licensed beer segment, which is currently going through a boom. Foster's grew by 117% in the first six months of 2006 and Cronenberg 1664 grew by 62%. The high quality of the company's products is not only known in Russia, it is also common knowledge in 38 countries where regular supplies have been set up by Baltica. In the first half of 2006, exports increased by 17.5% in comparison with the same period last year. Its share of total Russian beer exports amounts to over 70%. It's worth noting that 4,000 litres of Baltica beer were officially ordered for the participants in the G8 summit in July of this year. It's difficult to say how many beers Messrs Blair, Bush, Putin and the other heads of state of the G8 got through. The Russian president's views, however, are well known. The Bavarian company Baltica I to say one of the best in Europe. But, you said it more clearly. The best in Europe. Baltica, a world beer.